Would you be afraid if I told you that humans are currently making a weapon that could kill millions? A bacterial weapon immune to all medicines? Well, it is happening right now, but we're not doing it on purpose. Bacteria have been around for billions of years and are masters at surviving just about anywhere with trillions in and on you. Most don't hurt you and many actually help you, but there are a few types that do like to hurt us. Millions of people used to die from bacterial infections, but then, about 80 years ago, we found a secret golden gun to kill the bacteria, antibiotics, and thus began a revolution of modern medicine. It's quite simple. They kill most bacteria, and our immune systems deal with the rest. So how do they work? There are many different types, and they work in a bunch of different ways. They usually just throw a wrench in the bacteria's machinery, slow down their metabolism, prevent replication, or just obliterate their outer walls, leaking the bacterial goo everywhere, and obviously killing them. Throughout the process, none of our cells are even damaged, and that's why antibacterials are so awesome. For a while, everything was great, but evolution. The bacteria are evolving resistance to our antibiotics. Some bacteria, innately resistant to the drugs, might escape the wrath of both our immune system and the antibiotics, and help spread their immunity to other bacteria. It's because bacteria have DNA, but they also have plasmids, which are smaller pieces of DNA that they can easily copy and give to other bacteria. If a resistance gene or multiple resistance genes are on a plasmid, they can share it to all their friends, and even other bacterial species. This leads to bacterial resistance to our antibiotics. So why is all of this happening? Overuse, overuse, and overuse. Many people go to the doctor when they're mildly sick and they get antibiotics prescribed. The billions of livestock animals we have all get doses of antibiotics, oftentimes just given to them when they eat their food. This leads to many antibiotics losing their effectiveness over time, not to mention the millions of gallons of antibiotic soaps that don't even really help. Eventually, many antibiotics that we currently use likely won't work at all, but the fight isn't over. We're still developing new antibiotics, cycling through which ones we use, and trying to use our best ones only in the most dire of circumstances. It depends how we go forward using antibiotics that will either lead to some major issues or keep the world safe. And as always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.